Andrew Boathouse, which was open this past August, so we've been in it almost a year. Uh, it, it's, it's fantastic for us. From a functionality standpoint, it gives us the space we need to grow. Um, the team itself, we were restricted with the number of boats that we could have. We just physically had outgrown the building that was here before. So the new building, I mean, it's just enormous. It has all the space that a Division One varsity program needs. Uh, the other thing that I think that was designed into it, which is fantastic, is just sort of open space. Uh, the boats themselves, the shells, they all go for $52,000. And when it's really tight and you're dinging little $52,000 boats, it can add up. So, it, it, I mean, it was just, it's a great design. It's very functional. It gives us the space we need. Uh, I mean, there's new, we have a workshop now, so we actually can do a lot of the repairs and small things we have to do in-house, which is great. Uh, you, know, you couldn't ask for a better facility. The, the boathouse itself has been sort of a long time in coming. Um, actually, about 10 years ago, Dale England, who the facility is named after, uh, gave us the money to start the first part of the facility, the first phase of it, which is the team room and the bathrooms and showers and locker rooms. Uh, this is the, officially the second phase, which is replacing the old barn that we had for our boats, the storage part of it, and this is probably the biggest of the three phases. The third phase is actually going to be sort of connecting the two. So anybody, big donors want to give money, we're game for that one. Uh, no, but I mean, this is, I think it's just been a plan in the works forever. Um, Fred Glass came in and made this a reality, which is fantastic, and we really appreciate it for that because he's such a huge supporter of the team.